Hello and welcome to Heritage Contractors on Kalabach. We're in the month of August, early morning, so let's have a look and see what contracts we've got. Well, nice, nice little spread. So we've got uh, fertilizing, harvesting and plowing. We'll do all those three and see how far we get today, how long that takes us. shouldn't take us too long the harvesting contract we'll try and get some some straw off that field seven that's our we might as well own that field we've done so much work on it it right, looks like a lovely day let's get out and get started let's have a look and see where our fields are so four is quite a way away yes yeah, seven is our trusty old and 11 is just up the drag from us near the industrial area, if you want to call it that. What shall we start with? Shall we get the plowing going first? Just put this on to a bit of a speed up. And well, it's a bit manic, isn't it? Let's get the... Uh, the fiat organized with the plow behind it and we will rush on down oops had a little bit of a faux pas on the corner there missed it any event we should be just down the road yet should be this field round about here Go. What we'll do is we'll get a couple of headlands done and then we'll go off and must probably get the. What will we do? We we'll must probably get the, the harvesting started and then we'll go and do the fertilizing. That should be fairly quick and I think we've got fertilizer in stock so I don't think we'll need to buy any for that so that should be nice and lucrative and the harvesting contract although not big field 7 should generate at least I would say pretty close to a full trailer load of of straw bales so that should be in the Two and a half to three thousand range, so that should bring about four grand in. Makes those harvesting contracts so much better. It's a little bit of extra work, but once you get used to it, it's not too bad. I'm not going to say anything about the turning circle of the Fiat anymore. <laughs> it's about a hundred. 100 point turn to get around. It will eventually be re replaced. Um, the problem is it it does quite a good job with um, the grunt work in terms of just pulling power. But yeah, it's a, it's a bit frustrating to uh, to drive. to the older farm wall which turns on a sixpence as they say. And we should be just about ready to get this on to a worker. There we go. Off they go. And we'll leave them to struggle with the turning circle. Look at that it's go just about the whole length of the <laughs> of the field to turn around right let's jump into the harvester we can pick up the header and then we'll head off this field 7 and we'll get the harvesting of sorghum I think it is I think we should get um, straw off the sorghum field we do have the straw mod on so just makes all the difference 
where we're sitting at 37,000. We'll have to go and look at the vegetables. I think the vegetables will need a bit of attention today or this month. But we'll do that once we've got these contracts going or finished. Do this in first first person for a change. Let's just go refuel. Have to check to see how much fuel we've got in there in a little while time. I think we've still got some on the trailer, but not much. We'll just fuel up. We, we shouldn't need the replenishment in the field for field seven. It's not that big. realize how basic this um, harvest is when you drive it in, f in first person. It feels like you're sitting right on top of the header. Of course this equipment is nice and old so loving the graphics of the, uh, the bare steel showing. Well, we should be wearing some sort of uh, dust mask when we're doing this considering that modern harvesters are fully enclosed and I did um, have it on good authority that in days gone by a lot of farmers used to suffer with um, a lot of respiratory well, breathing problems, <laughs> respiratory problems, and a lot of it was to do from from crop dust. So dust when harvesting, dust when loading and unloading. Very, very fine dusts. So I'm sure this harvester does not do one's lungs any good. Let's just get it started and then we'll get it onto a worker and we will go and get the trailer so that that is ready for when the harvest is full and then we'll go and get started on the on the fertilizing contract. Yep, this uh, doesn't look like a huge amount of um, of straw, so we may not get a full full trailer load. We may do nice bit of reversing on the on the farm all. <laughs> it's pointless turning around for that short little distance. Got the trailer loaded up, and we'll just go and drop that off. not very far away. Yeah, I think I just caught, caught a glimpse of the of the vegetables definitely need tending. Now we know that the Massey will quite easily handle the fertilizing hopper if you want to call it that. I think it's in the central on. If I remember correctly, I think I put it against the far wall as you look from the farm side, so that's why I'm coming through here. Yeah, there it is there. Get that hitched up. like the size of this messy, it's easy to get around, tiny little thing really. Shouldn't have too much of a 
a problem doing that field I would think I think if I remember correctly we've got about 500 or 600 liters of of fertilizer still in the, in the store in storage don't know why I didn't leave it in there it's undercover um, so that should that's a fairly big field field 11 I think it is it's up towards the to the uh, up towards the animal dealer I think we should get it done uh, we nearly have a full tank of grain already so that's uh, must be a fair yield on there whoever the farm is is doing a good job right let's have a look solid fertilizer 783 so nearly a full pallet or nearly a full uh, IBC or not, that's not an IBC it's a um, big bag or a fertilizer bag get that loaded up and then we will go and unload the, the harvester deliver the first load of sorghum not sure where it has to go to I think it has to go to the Landis whatever it's called it's not quite full 95% so and it, it does it occasionally I've had that a couple of times now where the machine has stopped the worker has absconded just decided to oh, it's nearly full I'm just going to go for lunch or whatever it might be go for lunch at nine o'clock in the morning breakfast most probably it means we have to reset it but it's not too much of a problem straight always always seem to be fine finding it difficult to find the sweet spot for unloading probably need to start the, the harvester yeah it's just easier to move the harvester into the right position <laughs> that'll um, the harvester will pretty much fill that trailer so we can go and deliver that first load straight away just get the harvester back and working I've done this on course play um, just because it's a slightly odd shaped field I think dramatically odd but um, it's just better on course play this map well this uh, field harvesting this field or pretty much any working in this field most of them are like that because none of the fields are just exactly I can't say none of them but because there are some I'm just driving past one that looks like that but a lot of the fields have little nooks and crannies on them drop it off oops just destroyed the blower or sucker or whatever it is not sure whether that it's probably sucks it up into the grain storage or grain merchant whatever you want to call it nice little thing is we can do a little bit of a loop through the animal dealer and we don't have to worry about turning around in that sort of confined area just around the the offloading point well we'll get this back down to the field 
and then we'll go and continue on our fertilizing contract. Don't think it's necessary to check up on the harvesting contract too much. Pretty straightforward that one. We'll just keep an eye open to see. Hope it shouldn't get stuck anywhere, I don't think so. Right, let's get the harvest or oh, harvest the um, the fertilizing contract done. Done that on a spend that up quite a little bit just to try and show you as, as much of what we are doing but still keeping it to sort of reasonable length I don't want to have too many long episodes with my new series um, new map first day um, because I pretty much need to show the whole first day at five times speed um, it ends up being it takes normally well, it takes me normally about two hours or so to do that um, and then with bits of editing and speeding up I, st I tend to be able to get it well only get it down to maybe an hour and 20 minutes an hour and a half so it's a very long episode uh, it's a very long series that so want to keep this to around about 20 to uh, between 20 and 40 minutes just depending on what we're doing the harvest months will be a bit longer and the non-harvest months will be a bit shorter right so that's that done nice bit of income from that just over a grand what I'll do is I'll hitch up the the baler to the Massey and we'll go and start baling. Ah, might as well just refuel from the fuel that we've got in the trailer, there's not much there. Might even empty that fuel barrel. No, not quite. I think there's only about 170 litres in there. We'll see. We shall see. Where are we now? There we go. Let's just get out of here. And oh, just crashed into one of our. We haven't had to use it yet. Our um, Windra would be a bit naughty and just cut across the field. Nah, not this time. Do it right so tempting just to cut across that grass field. I'm sure we'll do it somewhere along the line. Why is this off centre? I don't think it's been folded. I think it's folded, been put it away most probably. That looks like we're full again. So we can get that sorted. I don't think we're going to get a lot of, uh, have a lot of excess. We'll do this on a bit of a time lapse again. Just to get it done and just show you what we're doing. There we go. That's nice. We've still got a little bit. I don't think we'll get another full load. So yeah, we're not going to get a huge amount of, um, of surplus sorghum to make money out of there will be a little bit but that's why we do the take the time to do the straw because that'll actually probably be bringing more than the contract the straw I mean it was a little bit of a an effort um, to do when we had so many harvesting contracts but we only got the one now so and we're still early on in the day so we we should be okay with uh, getting all the 
the straw bales in. There's a couple of extra undulations, so I'll probably only do I'll do the straw in two loads most probably. Do about well I suppose it depends on how many bales we get, but just looking at how quickly it was dropping the bales when we were doing the baling behind the messy a little while ago. I think we, we might even get close to a full trailer load, 100 bales out of this. They're small bales, of course. Whoops. <laughs> Let's turn around and catch up with the harvester. We should get a full load now still be a little bit in the harvester that we will be able to take up and must probably finish off the contract with. Just about full isn't it? Yep there we go it's full. I'm going to deliver this quickly and we'll see when we're up there. Well it's not that far away so, so we won't, won't do a jump cut on that. Yeah, made that quite easily. Uh, yeah, we, we haven't we haven't been struggling with the trader really. It's that little uphill there that I'm a bit worried. A little slight incline, not very far. Off. Um, a little bit worried about that with the with the trials and trib tribulations we had with the bale trailer and full loads on the bale trailer. So yeah, we'll definitely try and split it between two. Try and get about no more than sort of 45 bales on at a time. I guess probably push it. We'll see. We'll do. We'll do between 40 and 50 bales for the first one. Yeah, only 92% transported, so there's not much left on the field. So I think that's going to take the bulk of it to finish the contract off. I think by the time we get down there it would be pretty much harvested. We might have to go around and just do a little bit of tidying up. I don't know. It didn't look like there was a lot left on there. Alright, so we've completed that. Let's get that into the bank. The fertilizing contract. 1400 pounds or euros. Not to be scoffed at. This was still a 99% there's two passes here we'll just finish this off quickly and there's that contract finished and we only had about 11 o'clock on the day so it might be an early day or we might have some more contracts coming in the afternoon hope so but what we'll do is we'll finish off for this episode we'll finish off these contracts if more contracts come in we'll do a little top-up uh, episode I think I did that on the last one where we did sort of like an eight or ten minute episode just to do whatever came in in the afternoons because we'll also before we finish off this episode um, deliver the any vegetables that are from the vegetable patch to the to the store and I think we must probably have to put in some inputs, some seed and manure, water maybe. I don't think we've done that for a while so get that sorted. Well, let's get this back to the farm, get that all parked away and we're going to finish off the, the harvesting. in terms of the turning circle. You know what, I'm going to do this time. I'm going to cut across the cross. Give me a shout out in the, uh, the comments below if you think that he's being too naughty. <laughs> I 
the field is just there. It's just too much of a temptation. Uh, it's just clear the little bits and pieces. And we'll just park this off at the corner there so that we sort of two thirds of the way of getting the the harvester home. How much have we got in there? Not much. Let's see. Well, we should still make a little bit. Let's see, let's see. There we go. So it's finished. 500 euros. Better than nothing. But yeah. Little disappointing. Right, let's see how many bales we've got. Maybe we should have done this at a slightly slower speed. How much have we put on there? 50 odd bales. It handled it quite easily. So I think we we can clear the rest. I don't know how many there'll be. Still a few about. Shouldn't take too long. And then we I didn't see how I forgot to look to see how much we got there. I think it was about thirteen hundred. Which is probably about the same as the contract is worth. How many have we got this time? Another 50 odd. Yeah. My inability to reverse these things means I have to go around. 1700. Yes, probably about 3400-ish that we made on that. On the, on the straw. It's probably about as much as we've made on all three contracts together, so it becomes very lucrative that. Right, let's put the Massey onto the trailer, simply because we have to deliver to the Emma's farm, Emma shop, which is just around the corner from here. But it's very, very tight to get in there. We've only got three pallets, and yeah, there's nothing growing at the moment, so we will definitely have to. Yeah, materials are missing. Uh, we've still got a bit of manure. Well, water, we've still got 29 litres, but it's seed that we've run out of. But we would have run out of water pretty much <laughs> with uh, the production of one lettuce or something. <laughs> Any event. We'll just load this up and then we'll uh, sort the water out. I did want to move the water trailer in any event, so it's coming at an opportune time. Let's, let's get these things loaded first so that we can move the water trailer out. Yeah, we put that water trailer in exactly the wrong spot. So. I didn't actually think that the that the um, pallet collection point would have been so high up but kind of makes sense it's right there by the door the little shed that we have is probably where we pack everything right let's get let's get some water loaded it's going to take quite a few loads of that because I think the water trailer only takes about 2,000 liters so we'll have to do quite a few of our load and delivers just maneuver that in the that signpost is in exactly the wrong spot kind of I mean this map is made for small equipment so it's always going to be tight moving around 
We shouldn't have too many problems getting in there. Do normally find this easier in the first person view, the reversing, but um, just trying to show you where it's going in and all the little bits of bumps and scrapes we have while we do these things. It's no wonder farm, farm equipment looks like it does. Always bumping and scraping it. That's why I hate to buy new equipment. I prefer to have uh, some bumps and scrapes on the equipment that I buy. Um, just so that you don't feel too bad when you when you put a scrape on it. <laughs> yeah. Come on, this shouldn't be this difficult. Not concentrating, that's the problem. Right, we'll just eventually jump cut to the end of that. We won't show you every single minute of that. 2,000 meters is going to be a lot of load and sell, well, load and deliver, not sell, load and deliver. You've seen me do that. I don't know what happened to my voice there. Just went, went into the stratosphere. <laughs> um, you've seen me do the load and deliver plenty of times now. So I'm just going to push the trailer back so we don't normally go in very far to deliver so if we leave that at the back sort of round about there ish maybe a little bit further back then we can just connect connect up and uh, we'll be in position to do our load and delivers in the future and our pellet spawning area will be nice and clear So we'll offload that. I think the next thing I'll do is go and deliver the product that we've got, get some money in. Well, we're right, we're just looking good now. We're at 42,000 already. So the those bales were pretty lucrative, really. Don't think we can afford to do a harvesting contract without doing the bales. Well, certainly those that can do, that can produce straw, there will be some that you won't be able to get. It will. Um, it won't produce straw. I'm thinking, possibly potatoes and sugar beet and such like. It's not a real problem. The bulk of us. Our harvest, I think, is probably going to be grains. Having said that, just watch the next the next time we get contracts for harvesting, they're going to all be root crops or <laughs> things that don't produce straw. It's the law. Oops. Lady is standing in exactly the wrong spot. Watch your toes. Yeah, there we go. Managed to get around her. She does spend a lot of time in this little road here. She must live quite close by. It's always nipping in and out of into and out of town. It does look like there's quite a bit of accommodation on top of the shops and such like. And such like. Uh, another one of these little sayings that uh, I'm being. I've, well, I overuse, let's put it that way. How much are we going to make? should be a reasonable amount. The last 
got the tomatoes by the looks of things delivered. Two, two. Nice. There we go, the lady again. Where are you off to? Sent to test. Just disappeared. Didn't want to talk to me. I was probably holding her up. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's come buy some seed and put some seed into there. And then we'll also get some. Um, well, we've got compost right there, so. Or not compost manure. So we'll be able to top that up as well. <coughs> Seeds 800, that's reasonable. We'll buy three. Three bags. Yeah, that's good. It's a full trailer load. We've only got to go around the corner, so it's not too far. Here we go. I did find it. A lot easier to reverse down into the farm shop on first person mode so we'll do the rest of this little exercise in first person mode also gives you a little bit of a different perspective of of the map and of the working I normally do third person because it shows the area a lot more, it shows where we're going a little bit, not so much where we've come from but certainly where we're going. Having said that, this also does but sometimes the field of view is a bit limited. Yep, let's twist around and Yeah, it's much easier to reverse in in a first person view, so we'll do we'll do that in the future. No doubt I'll get overconfident at doing it and start botching it. <laughs> oh dear. Right, we'll load up the manure. And then we're pretty much done for the day, really. We'll just need to collect the money from our contracts we're up to what 42,000 and we've spent money on seed we spent money on manure we didn't have to spend any money on the water yeah so pretty good yes yeah, so we'll start wrapping it up after this it's been a pretty good morning haven't had too many problems certainly less than we had in September when we were doing all the harvesting and nothing seemed to go right oops <laughs> there we go you see not concentrating on lick the fence as I was offloading there right so let's just check to see where we are Yeah, we've got enough to get going there for a month or so. We'll get this back down to the farm. And I think that's where we're probably going to start wrapping it up. So I do hope you've enjoyed this episode, if you have course please like and subscribe it does help me out let's get back to the farm and we'll uh, get some money in there we go that's the last one done 
Once again, thank you so much for watching. And we'll catch you in the next one. Cheerio.